you're new to my videos, hello new friends. I am Shelby from Miss Shelby. I just recently finished my first Disney College program. I worked attractions in Magic Kingdom and I vlogged my whole entire program. It's a Vloggers World has asked me to be a part of their In the Spotlight series on their YouTube channel and they wanted me to film a Q&A for you guys. So please enjoy. When did you establish your vlog? I started my Disney College program vlogs back in the fall of 2015 when I got accepted to the Disney College program. I posted my acceptance video and then I knew that I wanted to vlog my program so that's what I did. Throughout my program um, I got up to 2,000 subscribers which was so awesome. I did not expect that at all. Yeah and I've just been going from there making videos. What equipment do I use to film my vlog slash sit down videos? I actually only have one camera. I use the Canon PowerShot G7X right here. It's literally the love of my life. It's an amazing camera. The viewfinder flips up and you can see yourself when you're vlogging. It's amazing. I love it. What have been your personal highlights of 2016? So 2016 was my whole entire Disney College program. So I had so many highlights from that. Number one, I just say working at Disney World. That has been a dream for a long time. Then I finally got to do it. I also got to be a Jungle Cruise skipper at the World Famous Jungle Cruise, which was also a dream of mine. That was so much fun. I loved it. It was amazing. Best job ever. Also, I got to meet all of my friends that I have now that worked at Disney with me. Literally the best friends I've ever had in my whole life. Perfect, amazing people. Disney friends are the best friends. I also got to meet tons of people who watched my channel. I made so many friends from this YouTube thing. I have this Instagram post that I wrote at the end of the year and I just want to read what I wrote because I really like what I said. 2016 was personally so unbelievably kind to me. I got to enter a world of make-believe and celebrate the magic every single day. I dreamt along with Mickey and so many perfect new friends. I got to see what a little wishing can do. I started Dumbo and I cruised through the jungle and now I really don't know how 2017 can ever top that. 2016, thank you so much for a magical year. I think that pretty much sums up my 2016. What are my top five favorite theme parks? Number five is gonna be Epcot. Number four is Animal Kingdom. Number three is Universal Studios at Universal. Number two is Magic Kingdom. And number one, my absolute favorite park is Hollywood Studios at Disney World. These are my top five rides and actually I'm gonna say top five attractions and I'm gonna include shows in this list as well. Number five I'm gonna say Big Thunder Mountain in Magic Kingdom. Number four I'm gonna say Tower of Terror in Hollywood Studios. Number three is Finding Nemo the Musical and Disney's Animal Kingdom. Ah, it's my favorite show. Number two is the Citizens of Hollywood and Hollywood Studios. They're literally so funny and I'm obsessed with them. And number one, my favorite attraction in a theme park is the incredible super dance party at Magic Kingdom. If you don't know, it's literally just a dance party and the DJs are amazing. You don't have to wait in a line to go to it. You just walk up and you start dancing. It's the most amazing thing at Disney World. Please go. Please, for me, please. All right, and these are my top five favorite places to eat in a theme park. And these are not gonna be in an order, I'm just listing them off. Number one, I'm gonna say the Backlot Express in Disney's Hollywood Studios. And my favorite thing to get there is the Kids Mill Chicken and Darth Vader Waffles. Number two is Pizza Rizzo in Hollywood Studios, which actually just opened up. So if you haven't had the chance to get over there, the theming, is amazing and my favorite thing to get there is the meatball sub they used to have it at pizza safari in animal kingdom but they actually just recently got rid of the meatball sub on that menu and i'm just guessing it's because it's at pizza rizzo now disney meatball subs number three is cosmic rays in magic kingdom and my favorite thing to get there is the kids meal mac and cheese Number four is Casey's Corner in Magic Kingdom. My favorite thing to get there are the corn dog nuggets. 
And number five is Friar's Nook in Magic Kingdom. And my favorite thing to get there is the pot roast mac and cheese. What is your most anticipated ride slash attraction of 2017? My program actually ended in the beginning of January and I'm back home now. I'm trying to finish school so I can get back to Disney. As far as I know, I'm not going to be in Orlando this year. I will tell you that I'm really excited to hear about the Jimmy Fallon ride that's coming to Universal Studios. I'm really excited about it because Jimmy Fallon is so great. So great. So great. <laughs> if you could pick one themed ride that currently doesn't exist, what would it be and which park would you place it at? I am gonna say that I wanna see a Tangled attraction. Literally don't care what it is. Something other than bathrooms because Tangled deserves more than that. The bathrooms in Fantasyland are cool, but like to quote Ariel, I want more. Um, the place I would put it at would be obviously next to the Tangled bathrooms. Just want to say, Flynn Rider better be involved in any way. Flynn Rider is the love of my life. Which vloggers should you guys be checking out? I'm going to tell you two names that I watched before I came to Disney and did my college program. They still post consistently and I think that they have pretty interesting vlogs. Number one is Amy Puddles. She's amazing. Literally the nicest person in the whole world. So check out Amy Puddles. Also, Olaf and Olivia. She posted so often during her program, which is what I loved about her. Check out Olaf and Olivia as well. What are my plans for 2017 theme park wise? So like I said, I'm back home now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to go to Orlando this year, but if there's any way I can go to Disney World, I will. I literally miss it so much. If I can find a way to make it back there, I will. Also, um, it's literally a dream of mine to be able to go back to Halloween Horror Nights this year. I went for the first time in 2016 and it changed my life. It was amazing. It was so much fun. I want to go back every single year now. All right, well, those are actually all the questions for my Q&A. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're a new friend watching my videos, go ahead and subscribe if you liked what you saw. You can find all of my social media stuff over on my channel. Go ahead and follow me. Also, my friends, if you're watching this video, subscribe to It's a Vlogger's World. All of their social media will be posted down below. Well, that's going to be the end of the video. Head on over to my channel to watch more of me and my friends. I hope you guys have a magical day and I will see you real soon. Bye!